Hey, what's up IG Garage family? Imagine you're driving and everything feels fine but suddenly the check engine light comes on. You run a diagnostic and boom, you've got code P0008. This little code might not seem like a big deal, but if left unchecked, it can lead to serious engine timing issues, which could cost you big. But don't worry, in today's video I'll walk you through what this code means, show you where to find the problem, and how to fix it. Let's jump in and get your car back in shape. So, what does P0008 mean? This code refers to the Engine Position System Performance Bank 1. In simpler terms, the Engine Control Module, ECM, is detecting an issue with the timing between the crankshaft and camshaft, which could affect how well your engine runs. If your timing is off, your engine may misfire, perform poorly, or even overheat. Now here's the important part. Where exactly is the issue? P0008 typically involves the camshaft and crankshaft position sensors. These sensors monitor the rotation of the crankshaft and camshaft to ensure proper engine timing. You'll usually find the crankshaft sensor located near the bottom of the engine block, while the camshaft sensors are typically on the cylinder head near the valve cover. This is the crankshaft sensor, and right here are your camshaft sensors. If these sensors aren't reading properly, it can throw off the timing, which is what triggers the P0008 code. So, what are the symptoms? If you're seeing the P0008 code, you might notice rough idling, poor acceleration, or even stalling. In some cases, the engine may misfire or run roughly. These issues all stem from your engine's timing being off, which could lead to more serious damage if not addressed. To fix this, you'll want to start by inspecting the timing chain or belt and checking for any stretch or misalignment. If the timing chain is in good condition, inspect the camshaft and crankshaft position sensors for any damage or faulty wiring. If either sensor is faulty, replace it and clear the P0008 code using your OBD2 scanner. Then take the car for a test drive to make sure everything is running smoothly again. And that's how you handle a P0008 code, folks. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to IG Garage for more car repair tips. And before you go, check out these two videos to dive deeper into engine codes. First, check out our video on P0001, where we explain fuel volume regulator issues, and don't miss our video on P0088 for high fuel pressure problems. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.